According to the study conducted by a statistical organization, the purpose, uh, the proportion of Americans who are satisfied with the way things are going in their lives is 0.82. And then it says, suppose that a random sample of 100 Americans is obtained and completes A through C. So let's look at these first two parts. So uh, the distribution of p hat is approximately normal with p hat equals 0.82. So we got to find sigma of p hat. So the standard error of the sampling, the distribution of sample proportions. So what we're going to do is use our formula, which is sigma p hat. Ah, that's a pretty bad hat. Sigma p hat is the square root of p times q over n and that square root comes down below the n. So what is q? So recall that q is always 1 minus p. So in our problem what are we going to have? The square root of p which is 0.82 so we say 0.82 times 1 minus p which is what? We can do that in our head, just 0.18 divided by the total number and we pick a hundred and I think I get my square root to come down okay you still need to be careful with this it's not trivial to put this in the calculator okay so we're gonna have the square root of 0.82 times 0.18 divided by 100. You need to make sure that 100 is underneath the square root. Careful with your parentheses. And we get 0 0.0384. And here we can see from our choice, um, the person who sent me this got it correct. 0 0.038. Okay, so let me write that down here. Okay, now part B. What is the probability that at least 82 Americans in the sample are satisfied with their lives. And so always draw a curve on these every single time. So this is really the same thing. This is a problem from 8.2 in this text where we're looking at um, proportions. It's exactly the same thing when we did means. The only difference is, not the only difference, but the big difference is, is that I'm generally not given the standard deviation. I actually compute it, what I did here. So if I draw this out on the normal curve, this is 0.82. And then below that, I generally will write whatever the standard deviation is, standard error of this, 0 0.038. And then what do I have? I have the probability that at least 82 so at least 82 means what? So at least 82 uh, means 82 is the least. So 82 or more, right? So I need to actually find p hat, which is 82 over 100. Remember, it's x over n. Now, this is a little trivial, so I'll, we'll do part c here in a second. It's pointing to, it's actually, it's actually exactly the same as down here. So we're actually trying to find this part right here. And we don't even really need to compute this out, right? Hopefully it's clear. This is going to be one half. But just to show you what we would normally do, um, we're going to do a normal CDF. So normal CDF of, again, left bound, 0.822. Right bound is 1E99. The mean proportion is 0.82. Standard deviation will use 0 0.038. And we get 0.49999999. So hopefully you can see that's 0.5. Let's look at part C. So part C reads uh, find the probability that 77 or fewer Americans in the sample are satisfied. Is, and then we want to figure that with, out what that is. So again, draw a curve out. I cannot emphasize that enough. It, it does take a few extra seconds, but this is how we think through these problems. You will not regret it if you get in the habit of drawing these curves out. So draw the curves out. Again, what's our mean proportion? 0.82. Uh, 
We want 77 or fewer. Now this one actually we can do in our head because we've got a nice denominator, but we'll go ahead and crunch it out. 77 over 100 is 0.77. So I plop 0.77 here, and 77 or fewer, so I shade to the left. Now what are we going to have? We'll do, and I've already found the standard, standard deviation, right? Standard error was 0 0.0. Three, eight. So I'm going to do norm CDF. Let's pull the calculator into play here. So norm CDF. Left bound. So left bound in this case is what? We're going out to negative infinity. So that's our left bound. negative 1 e99 comma all the way up to 0.77 and then the mean which is 0.82 and the standard deviation which is 0 0.038 Oop, wrong one there we go so I got 0 0.094 and it wants four decimal places right Zero nine four one, and again, if you get if you have trouble rounding, and if you're doing a bunch of these, it's just easier to know this feature exists. You can press mode, and go down here to whoop, I missed it, to float, and change that to whatever decimal you want. We'll say four, and then I'll just press enter again, and it rounds for me automatically. Now make sure you know that it is round, and you go back and change that back to float because sometimes you don't want it to round to four. So 0 0.0941. Hope that helps. This is a, a very challenging section for, for most students, both um, with means and with proportions. Proportions seem to be a little more challenging. Um, there's an extra step involved. We're not given the standard of error explicitly, standard deviation. So we actually have to compute that out. So um, let me know if you have any more questions.